Hello student, today we are going to study the function of function generator and the function of your DSO. So, this is where output is, is taken, this is your probe, this is used for the input, this is for the ground and same probe if you look at this probe, this has been connected to the output and if you look at the uh, look at the DSO, thus this is showing the sign wave. Hello, now I am going to change the some operation I am going to do with the menu. Now, this is the frequency it is showing. If I increase the frequency 1.59 hertz now, if this is the where I can increase the frequency. If you change the output, see there is change in the time axis. If you increase the frequency, there is decrease in the time axis means time period is decreasing. See, this is how with the increase in frequency, this is how we are changing the frequency. Now, now if you look at the DSO, now this is where we are going to get at the 23 kilohertz frequency. Now if you want to see in more clear way, then for that what we are going to do, we are just going to see this channel. This is your horizontal position means this will change the axis just how you do in camera just you just enlarge this one this will enlarge this one this axis x axis this will be this is see this is second per division now this is going to enlarge now see enlarge now it is going to make in see now it has become micro 50 microsecond microsecond so if uh, the frequency is in 20 kilohertz range if you divide by 1 by 20 kilohertz now it will be around 50 if you 1 by 20 kilohertz then it will be around 0 0.5 10 to the power minus 4. Now this is your 50 frequency microsecond the time period is around the microsecond see. If you want to see one period see 2.5 0 microsecond if you want to see the one this is how this is only just used to enlarge that your x axis x axis. Now, these two is to enlarge the your y axis. This is for second channel and this is for channel 1. Here we are taking the output, here are taking the input. If you want to enlarge this one, suppose I want to enlarge this, my, I cannot see, suppose if you want to enlarge, then I am making it enlarge. See now it has become channel is counting 1 volt. Now, if you again enlarge, if you in, again enlarge, now 2 volt means 2 volt for 1 Q from here to 1 it will be counting 2 volt. Now this is where it is counting 2 volt here and 1 block will count 2 volt. Now if you decrease now 1 block will count 2 volt. Now if you want to make the signal position it very well. So for positioning we are using this purpose for a vertical positioning we are using this process this knob and for horizontal we are using this one now suppose we want to make the 1 kilohertz frequency now we want to supply the 1 kilohertz frequency now for that what i am doing i am decreasing yeah, my frequency see if i decrease 0.2 kilo now this is around 1 1 1.05 kilohertz means around 1 kilohertz. Now, if you see the time period, now where we have to set the time period 1 by 1 kilohertz, 1 by 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 that will come that 1 by 10 to the power minus 10 to the power 3 that will give you 1 millisecond. Now, you have to set the horizontal axis in millisecond then only your curve will be visible. Now, this is your horizontal axis. Now, you check this one. I am changing this knob and you say this will come in your millisecond. Now, I am changing this one, see increasing 250 microsecond. Now, this is where microsecond this will increase. Now, I want to get in millisecond. Now, this is your millisecond range. See, now this axis has been your 1 millisecond. Now, say in millisecond range, you can easily show. If you want to again enlarge, just make time axis a little more bigger, 500 microsecond. So this is where how you give your signal. This just to change the position, and this is your 
horizontal position. Now, if you want to measure what is the input applied, just go to measure button. This is your measure. Just give your measure. Now, this is where channel one. Channel one peak to peak, it is showing five volt. Now, this is peak to peak, it is showing four one. It is showing that five volt signal has been given. This whole one. This is your peak to peak. Mean. 2.50 volt has been given because this is showing peak to peak. this peak to this peak signal will be half of this one. Now, if I am changing this limit in one one volt range, now if you count, now it is saying around the five volt two point. If you see the axis, now it is counting one volt means one cube will count one volt, one volt, two volt, and two one point five volt. So, this is 2.5 kilohertz signal that we have applied. Now, this way we are count. Now, if you want to see more measurement, just go and select the channel 1. Now, I have selected the channel 1. This is your type. Now, here you change which you want. Cycle RMS value it is giving. Now, if you enlarge this one, now you can easily see. Now, I am checking this one. Minimum value maximum value, rise time, fall time, positional width, negative width that is not needed at all, frequency this is the frequency we have given now it is showing same frequency, the input uh, the time period and mean value and peak to peak value. Now, where you have to if you want to change the amplitude with this you are going to change the amplitude. Now, see amplitude is increasing. Now, if you want to decrease the amplitude is still decreasing if you want to make it 2 make it 2 volt. So, this is the 1 volt signal this is peak to peak I am checking that is why this is showing 2.0 volt. Now, if I need to check uh, this is see the effect of 20 dB and 40 dB. Now, 20 dB will decrease the input whatever the input we are giving now see the input is around keep it around 1 1 volt to 2 will peak to peak now it will change into milli volt see how much it is changing now it has been changing 280 volt means 2 to 280 volt means if you keep there is decrement around 2 volt to 280 milli volt now there is uh, the decrement of 2 by 280 millivolt. If you divide it, that it will come 1000 10 times it is decreasing that input. So, it will decrease your input by 10 times. If you want a millivolt signal, this will provide your millivolt signal. And if you keep 40 volt, this will again decrease by again uh, 40 means 100 times. The 100, if you apply both, then it will take 60 times. Means 1000 time it is decreasing the signal because 20 log 10 to power 2 will give 40 10 to 20 log 10 to power 1 will give 20 dB. I am remove this one. Now, if you want to change the shape of that curve now how you want to change the shape go to menu this is frequency it is blinking now go to escape. Now, just move here function now it is saying function which function you want. Now, I have entered now it is blinking now I can change in which function we want now this is your ramp function now see it is showing ramp function ramp function you got now if you see this is your pulse function this is your TTL function pulse ramp triangular this is your square function. This is how we uh, keep the function. So, only this much is needed, moreover it will be needed, I will be ex explaining differently.